Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. I wouldn't let my daughter go with you or your sidekick. <laughs> We're all at the in China, buddy. <laughs> After listening to your program this morning. Leave it to Beaver. Starring Barbara Billingsley, Hugh Beaumont, Tony Dow. Children are lively enough and small enough to do a lot of things, but nobody is small enough to go down a bathroom drain. You know that, don't you? When I was a very little boy, I used to watch the water rushing down the drain, and I used to wonder what might go with the water. But even then, as little as I was, I couldn't go with the water down the drain. Nobody can do that. Everybody's much too big for that. You can never go down, can never go down, can never go down the drain. You can never go down, can never go down, can never go down the drain. You're bigger than the water, you're bigger than the soap. You're much bigger than all the bubbles, and bigger than your telescope, so you see. You can never go down, can never go down, can never go down the drain. You can never go down, can never go down, can never go down the drain. The rain may go down, but you can't go down. You're bigger than any bathroom drain. You can never go down, can never go down, you can never go down the drain. You can never go down the drain. Steve and Gary, scumbag, worm meat, idiots. <laughs> oh, we're on. I'm sorry. 238, good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Redgat. WLS FM 95. Doing the afternoon thing. Doing the radio thing. George Sorantos on the other side of the glass. Only our imaginations are left to furnish the pictures. The cameras have all gone away. Our vivid imaginations. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? We're on the radio now. There's no picture. Oh. Our imaginations are left to furnish the pictures. I see. I don't talk about that other job. Because I'm I not don't allowed even... to. You're not allowed to, so don't. I was just trying to be... Sneaky. <laughs> Mr. Sneaky, yeah, they call sneaky him. Sneaky and colorful, vivid, you know, imaginative. That kind of thing. So, you know... Do you hear like a, a humming sound? Yes, I hear a humming. Oh, humming bird. Why is there? That? It's my microphone. That's nice. Okay, no problem. Because I'm really not that important, you know, to the show. So I could, I think we can get along without me today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. No problem. Oh, hummingbird. No problem. Hummingbird, hummingbird, fly away, fly away. Well, I can't. There. It's better, but it's not gone. 
Now it's gone. But so am I. Why don't you go over to this one? Or switch microphones, maybe, huh? Uh, it's something in this little thing here. Let me drop this on the table. Nope. I'll sit over there. It's, by the way, it's Hummingbird Don't Fly Away, Fly Away. <laughs> I hate it when you don't remember uh, Seals and Crofts lyrics, really. I mean, they're like my favorite band. You should like take the time to memorize their lyrics. So, you know, let me move over to the other thing here, and then I'll tell you my little story. Dash that and Jimmy. Pardon? Dash and Jimmy. Dash Crofts, Jimmy Seals. The Dash Man. The Dasher. The Jimmer. Remember uh, last week we were enjoying Tommy Edwards' review of Flashdance? Mm -hmm. And we enjoyed... We didn't hear it on the air, did we? His review of War Games. He panned it. Somebody though, called us and told us, yeah, yeah. Even though it's gotten rave reviews. But he dug Flashdance. A lot. Yeah. Well... <laughs> And remember on Friday, we tried to tune in to see if we could hear a review of something? Mm-hmm. Because we love it when he reviews movies. And remember, we couldn't get anything? And we remember, we couldn't... I think, no, actually, I think we tuned in to hear the traffic. Because Louise was on his show, right. but not on ours. Actually, that's how we heard the other review, too. Right. Well, you know, and, and we couldn't hear anything. Remember and Howie, I yelled at Howie because I thought things were screwed up? Because remember how she was on the air, but we didn't hear the reverb? And I knew that she wasn't really on the air mm -hmm. from upstairs. Tommy apparently puts patch cords in now so we can't listen to him down here. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Let's try right now. Patch it in like you would if you were going to do a simulcast. Ooh. No nothing there. Yeah, we called up before. They said they're working on the lines. Cause... Well, one of the engineers from upstairs told me he puts patch cords in so we can't listen to him. <laughs> what a nut <laughs> I don't know that made my afternoon I got news for you okay it's 242 we'll be right back Wisconsin. Today, more than ever, it pays to protect the investment in your car. Oil changes every 3,000 miles are like inexpensive insurance. Numerous tests prove frequent oil changes extend engine life and improve gas mileage and performance. And the place to make a lasting change in your car is BW Oil Service Centers. In and out in 10 minutes or less at a price that's hard to beat. Why not a travel you? You've got BW. Car care. Make easy. It's coming to Chicago. Chicago is where it's coming to. It's the Blitz, the Dodge Import Blitz, the Dodge Weekend Import Blitz. Your Chicago Northwest Indiana Dodge dealers are located, I should say, loaded with great new Japanese imports. So naturally, they're ready to unload them. Hundreds of Dodge Colts and Dodge Challengers built by Mitsubishi, the master car builders of Japan. So the Dodge Weekend Import Blitz is a great time for you to come in and make your deal. Make your deal on Challenger, the sporty, personalized import. Personalized? It says personalized import. So they For get, your eyes only. Yes. So they mean Seems personalized. Seems like it would be slant eyes. Or make your deal on Dodge Colt, the frisky little car <laughs> that's one of the best all-round automotive this values car is in town. Frisky. At the Dodge Weekend Import Blitz. Speaking of the Blitz, your Chicago Northwest Indiana Dodge dealers have a football bonus for you. Come on in and get a two-for-one coupon for the Tampa Bay game this Sunday. So you can buy one ticket, 
One $12 ticket and get one free. Just for coming in, no purchase necessary. Only at your Chicago Northwest Indiana Dodge dealers now during the Dodge Weekend Import Blitz. Thank you, Gary. Super. That's the, That wasn't a commercial. Gary just felt that we should all know that. Yeah. That's super when you do that. I yeah. love that. Just from the heart. You're so informative. <laughs> you are. It's 246 WLS FM 95. WLS FM 95 Chicago, eight minutes before three. And those WLS Mountain Dew bottle caps and pull tabs that you've been seeing could win you special prizes this summer. Look for details where you buy Mountain Dew and listen to this station. So, do people know? Or? I mean, Maggie didn't know. I think uh, you can get Mountain Dew. No, no, no. no. You know, about the baby. Oh, I don't know. George, you knew. Yes. But you were with us on Saturday, so. I knew. Um, no, you were here because we called on Saturday during the best of. That's right. We did a live insert, <laughs> as they say. See if people know. Answer the phone. See if they know. 591-3040. Harry knew. H. Priester, chief engineer, knew. Hello? You're hello? on the air. Hello? Why do you always do that? You wait until I say hello to answer the phone just so I look like a jerk. Well, you could hear a click. That's a clue. Well, I know, but we, you wait so long. No, I figure I was, you, you must it was have up pushed so it down loud. and I didn't hear it. It was up so loud that I oh, he turned, it down. turned it down before I pushed it down. Hello? Hi, how you doing? Good. Fine, how are you? Listen, I can't believe why I was dialing. I didn't hear. What did you ask? I was going to ask you something different. And you asked a question? I asked, do you know... Do I know? You don't know. I don't know what. About the baby? No. Oh, did she have it? Yeah. Boy or girl? I bet a boy. A boy. Terrific. She didn't have a cesarean? No, just regular. Fantastic. What do you weigh? Uh, seven pounds, twelve and a half ounces. Terrific. When? How did I miss this? When did this happen? Well, we haven't been on since it happened. It happened on Friday, Friday night. And we called during the best of... But, oh. but we, you know, we just mentioned it once. Well, congratulations to everybody. Oh, thanks. What's name, your name? Michael. Well, terrific. Pat and Mike. They're going to open a bar. Well, Pat and a... Mike's. Yes. Oh, I'm happy for you. Thank you. I really am. And everyone's fine. Well, I'm glad. And when do we come home? Um, we might come home tomorrow. We might come home Wednesday. Oh, are you taking care of Patrick by yourself? No. Uh, I did up until yesterday, though. Did you? But now uh, Janet's mom is in town. Oh, uh, well, good. Well, I'm real happy for you. Thank you. And I love the morning show, but I won't discuss it. No, don't, because they'll charge me. I know. Also, I videotaped the birth, and... Oh, my gosh. I have not watched it yet, uh, oh. nor have I listened to it, but maybe tomorrow I'll have the audio from that. Well, this is terrific. I don't think I can show the video. No. <laughs> well... <laughs> you know, Janet might get kind of mad. Why? You, well, know, you know, live and learn, and you might learn something. You and I both know that childbirth is a, a beautiful thing. I do. But uh, some people uh, might try and make it a pornographic thing. Because, see, we were in a birthing room mm. as opposed to a, a delivery, you know, a regular operating room, delivery room. And in the delivery room, you can get back, you know, when I, when I videotaped Patrick, and we've never shown that either. That might be too private to show. But I got back far enough so you you can only see the baby coming out. You know, you can't see anything else. You know what I mean? And, uh, you still there? Yes, I am. I'm listening. Oh, see, oh. I don't know this. I had my baby cesarean. Yeah, well, I got back far enough. Oh, okay. I couldn't see anything. But in the birthing room, the bed's right up against the wall, so you can't get back far enough. So you kind of see some stuff that, you know, maybe some people shouldn't see. 
Well, it's up to James. It seems like it's kind of a private thing anyway. The audio. Yeah. I think the audio is one thing. I think the video, I might uh, yeah. <laughs> charge, you know, for that. <laughs> like 50 bucks or something. Well, that's exciting. Maybe you can buy out like a home cassette of the birth of my two children. <laughs> something like that. Somebody may want it. Yeah, and a simulated conception or something. I don't know. I'm I'm piecing it together right now. Well, I'm happy for you, but um, I'll tell you, boys are something. Yeah. You gotta have a little girl. Oh, don't say that. Oh, don't. everybody should have a little. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't you say that. Well, you because know. Because we're having just two, and we're very happy. Oh, are you? We're oh, very happy. Just wait till they start going out in the bushes and doing their thing, and uh, uh, you're. Wait till you boys or something. Yeah, but boys don't come home when they're 16 pregnant either, so mm. it's, uh, uh, there's a, there's an upside and there's a downside, and it's, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy the way it is. Well, Jana called, Jana was, a, I think she wanted a girl, but she's happy that, you know, we have a healthy child, but she called today. <laughs> she was watching all my children, and she said, I'm glad we don't have a girl, because then what's happening to Opal right now won't ever happen to me. Well, you never know. Never say never. Well, what do they do in the bushes? Oh, oh, when, oh, listen, what do they do in the bushes? Like you don't know. Like you when, still don't do it. Listen, when you're too I, busy, I out trim. of play, and you can't come into the bathroom, you go in the bushes. <laughs> and you give your 72-year-old neighbor heart attacks. <laughs> she's looking around to see what faucet's leaking. Also, don't you play doctor in the bushes? You could. That's where I used to play. Oh, I never thought yeah, of it. But never where I went to the bathroom. I had different bushes for different no, things. No, I had a girl in the You were a bush doctor is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I was. Mm -hmm. No, I have uh, twin boys that are ready to put me in a home. After my girl, I thought, oh, this won't be bad. Oh, my Lord. So, but they're out there, and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, that's why I'm shocked I got through. I'm very happy. They dress alike? No. But they used to until I... Stop getting gifts. So all the gifts came in matching. Yeah. And then um, I thought, well, this is silly. I'll buy whatever I happen to come across, and I try not to. I want them to be individuals. Yeah. You know, because it's really rough. They're really identical. And uh, the way I tell them apart right now is uh, somebody has, well, his hair is a little bit shorter than the other one. That's the only way I tell them apart. You know. I could uh, have some fun in later life with that. Oh, they're having fun right now. They are? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're, uh, uh, you know, like somebody will drink somebody else's pop, and or they'll they'll get into stuff, and they, they blame each other now. And I really don't, I wouldn't dress them alike. I really, I feel bad for them already. Everybody sees the twins, the twins, the twins. But, um, you know, even, like, I say, well, he's got on the blue jacket, whatever, which one they're talking about. And it's just... I feel bad they don't have their own identity yet. Hmm. I'm hoping it happens. Well, why don't you uh, give one away? <laughs> no, Sell one. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> Which one? No, Look I'm really point. excited. They're both the same. They're both the same. You're right. No, they aren't. One is meaner than the other. Yeah, well, then get rid of the mean one. Okay. Thanks, uh, Joe. Glad to help. Yes, well, anytime, but I'm very happy for everybody. Thank you. This is exciting, and good for you. We're happy for you, too. I'm only kidding about... No, I never. Listen, enjoy your babies. Okay, did you have a question? No, well, you answered the question, because I, well, I was betting a million bucks Janet wouldn't have a cesarean. When you were talking about cesarean, I said, no doctors do that for the scare factor. <clears throat> and I just knew she wouldn't. And I tried to get through to tell her what exercises to do to turn the baby around, but he worked out fine. He turned around on his own. That's right. Okay, well, thanks. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. We better do our commercials? Yes. Then we'll come back and take some more calls? Yes. Okay, 301. Listen to this. You are about to hear the greatest thing to happen to soft drinks in the last 20 years. Are you ready? Introducing new Diet Coke. That's right, brand new Diet Coca-Cola. Listen. New Diet Cokes, the one-calorie cola with so much real cola taste. You're going to drink it just for the taste of it. That's why people aren't just saying nice things about the taste of new Diet Coke. They're singing its praises. Introducing Diet Coke. You're going to drink it just for the taste of it. Introducing Diet Coke. This is the one from Coca-Cola. We call the taste with just one calorie. Just for the taste of it. 
Coca-Cola. Tonight, 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 tonight. Here's to good friends. Tonight is kind of special. The beer will pour. Must say something more somehow. One of the biggest motorcycle events in Suzuki history. It's the great Suzuki price blow-up. The mad Suzuki price bombers are blasting prices on most of their popular 81 and 82 models. Want to save hundreds on low-slung cruisers or beautiful street bikes? Get them now or they're gone. Want to save a bundle on race bread dirt machines? Get them while supplies last or they're history. Get to your Suzuki dealer right away for complete details or everything will be gone. The great Suzuki price blow-up. The sensation of Suzuki. Hurry into Arby's this Saturday, June 11th, and Sunday, June 12th for Arby's 99-cent beef sale at participating Arby's in Chicago and Northwest Indiana. 65 right now. I can't uh, decide if it was a dream or if it was reality, but I think I saw on a billboard by an Arby's, or in front, you know, in front of an Arby's, underneath the hat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't by one. <laughs> I've been practicing for Italian Day. <laughs> Which is fried. Oh, I can't. Um, but, it, you know, that's what you say. Mm -hmm. Instead of at, you say, over by Arby's over there. Over by Arby's. Mm -hmm. But that means at Arby's in Italian. I think I saw a sign that said, "Lobster, try our lobster sandwich. Hmm. I don't know. Sounds like a dream to me. Have you seen that, George? I think I saw it. I think it was real. I don't know. Try our lobster sandwich. Maybe somebody from Arby's can call and clear that up. Back to the phone. Sounds like a sexual dream to me. All my children update Sounds after like a six. Fish story. You're in a the air. A crustacean story. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hey, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Did uh, did she have cesarean the first time, or was it just a problem on this time? No, actually, both times the baby, uh, his head was up. I mean, uh, not up. Oh, wait a minute. Take two. He, his head was down, but his face was up uh, tw towards her stomach as opposed to towards her back. Yeah, yeah. And um, so uh, it, that's, I guess it's kind of hard to deliver him that way. The doctor had to kind of turn him around a little bit to get him out. Yeah. And he had his cord wrapped around his neck, but loosely, so every, they say everything's cool. Yeah, oh, that's cool. <laughs> but he, at one point, he was turned around the wrong way, but he turned the right way, head yeah. down. But he was face up. And Pat was the same way. But actually, right at the last minute, Pat's head went down. I mean, his <laughs> his head was down, but his face went down. Yeah, right. But I'll tell you, I'm qualified, I think, now. I'm going to... I might check into some uh, uh, night uh, OBGYN classes. <laughs> I kind of dig it. I kind of dug walking around the hospital in my scrubs. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird. I dug it. I thought maybe I'd go uh, check on some women, but... Yeah. Uh, Janet stopped me. I said, let me just make some rounds, Janet. See if anybody needs any help. You never know the difference. Go get a couple plastic nameplate made up, you know. Yeah, I go, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hmm, let me feel that, uh-huh. And how about your breasts? Uh, <laughs> do you feel, has your milk come in yet? Let me, uh, nobody would know the difference. Oh, for sure. And I look pretty cool. I think I look pretty cool in those scrubs. Yeah, I know. I took them home. <laughs> yeah, well, I... They, they I kind of frowned on it, but we packed them in the suitcase before they could say anything. Of course, I put mine right back in the hamper where they belong, sir. <laughs> I do not take advantage of the situation. My thief at heart. <laughs> well, uh, when did you have a kid? Uh, Seven months ago, eight months ago. Yeah, pretty okay. cool, huh? That was... Oh, yeah, that was wild. They started talking cesarean uh, right at the end, and she was kind of freaked out, you know, and here we went through all the lamas and everything else, you know, and... Yeah. It's like, you know, it seems like, you know, you're you're blowing the moment that she has a cesarean. But uh, the next day, she was supposed to go in for some kind of test like two days later. The next day after she was in the doctor's office, the water bag broke. You know, so then we figured everything was cool. 
Yeah. And she had, she only had like a three hour labor. Yeah, Janet's wasn't too long either. I think at some point the doctor kind of uh, sped it up a little bit because yeah, he didn't want the baby to get tangled. Yeah, they gave her the, uh, I guess they call it the pit. To what? Uh, <laughs> Where'd you have your baby in Borneo? <laughs> <laughs> Give her the pit. <laughs> oh, it sounds gruesome. You know, I don't know. It's, I forget sounds what they beautiful. call it, but it's uh, born in Borneo. Uh, the speed up the contractions because she wasn't quite moving along fast enough. Yeah. But yeah. everything turned out cool. You know. That's all that counts. Yeah. Okay. Hey, listen. Uh, can I talk to you off the air about something? I got. Uh, I talked to Gary last week about dropping something off down there, and I want you guys to get charged. <laughs> Uh, sure. Station down there. Okay, um, yeah, you know what I need? I need somebody that can fix parking tickets. Cause <laughs> hey, I, where at? I got one at the airport yesterday. Picking up Janet's mom. They might be handled. <laughs> you know, you used to be able to park in between those terminals without any problem. Yeah, those cops now they... up there are getting kind of nasty now, though. That's the, uh, when they do something wrong down in the city, that's where they stick them out at the airport. Yeah? Yeah. I... I... I'd think that would be a great place to work. Just walk around. Yeah, I know, but you know, half these guys want to walk, uh, beat people up and bust people and stuff. You know. I'd rather just walk around and look at stewardesses. Oh hell yeah, for the money they're getting paid. Talk to skycaps. Yeah, sit around in the restaurants and. Uh, yeah, seems like good duty to me. Uh huh. Didn't they stick Joe Dealey and Artie out there? Hmm. Mayor Byrne, uh, former Mayor Byrne, when she got the PO'd at him, I think she stuck him up there. Yeah, I think she did. Anyway, in between the terminals, you used to be able to, be able to park there for, you know, put your flashers on for a half hour or something, and nobody would bug you. Now they have big uh, no-parking tow-away zone signs. I figured, what the hell, I'll put the flashers on, but I got a ticket. Get yourself one of those, make up a sign that says you're with... Uh, I have some them. courier service. I have a I couple of those. Here. But I can't. I, I, that's too jive. I have like a what? Do, what do we have? State police ones or something? Sheriff and. Uh, do you use yours? U.S. Embassy. Do you use yours? Yes, I do. Works, I can't. I can't do it. more than half. Sometimes it doesn't work. Half the time it, it works. Yeah. I can't do it. I. Just, what, I think, what's the hassle? Because I think I figure that somebody's watching me when I do it. I'm not very good at so crime. So now you got the ticket. I know, but I'm not very good at crime. Like I, I can't do stuff like that. I can't. <laughs> I know it's just a simple little crime, but I, I have a problem with it. <laughs> what are the tickets now? Twenty-five bucks? I don't. I thought it was fifteen. I didn't look. I think I it's know, fifteen. Last, I think last time I got a ticket in Chicago, it was like twenty-five bucks. I don't think they know anything under twenty-five. Yeah. You know, but, we we did a, a benefit for <laughs> Jane Byrne, <laughs> figuring we could get our parking tickets fixed after that, but a lot of good it did us. Yeah, really. Oh well. Okay, well, maybe somebody out there can help me get mine fixed. It's the first one I've had in years, so I'm sure it would take them a while to catch up with me. Well, but I, I don't want to be a scoff law. <laughs> okay. I, haven't, I haven't paid any of mine in about three years, and I haven't heard anything yet. I got a letter about We're tracing this call, sir. This is a oh. trick. This oh. is a trick that I pull. <laughs> it's like ab scam. You're in big trouble now, sir. We're tracing this call. Officers are on their way to your home. I have a big uh, sheet of tracing paper over the yeah. phone. Yeah, he's tracing the call. Uh, it's very nice, too. It looks almost just like a phone. Paper. Huh? Huh? I couldn't hear you what you just said. Oh, nothing. Don't worry. Bad joke. Oh, okay. All it's a right. good thing I was talking over it then. Okay, see you later. All right. Bye. Bye. You're in the air. How you doing, guys? Good. Well, I just Hi. want to say congrats on the, on the baby. And the, oh, thank you. And the show this, this weekend. Thank I, you. I, I can say that as long as I don't say which one. Uh, it's over with. You can talk about it. We're going to talk about the Jello wrestling a little bit later. Yeah. Thank you pretty... guys are on TV now. And uh, Roman hey, Kotchuk hey. plays a pretty mean guitar. I yeah, just want to a... say that, especially from Indiana. He's a good guitar player. <laughs> he doesn't live in Indiana. No, well, he lives in Lansing. That's uh... <laughs> that's close enough. <laughs> that's, an, that's an Illinois uh, version of Indiana. That's all. Uh huh. We call him the Mad Ukrainian. Poor, poor man's Indiana, I call it. Uh, just wanted, wanted to say I learned one thing this weekend. Hmm. You'd be nothing without Meyer. <laughs> He's getting more elaborate. You're in the air. Hi, Steve and Gary. Yes. This Hello. Is Cheryl. Cheryl. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to be a pest or anything. I Cheryl, that office. happens as soon as you pick up the phone. Oh, no, I didn't do anything yet. I was going to offer my congratulations. I'm Thank you. Of Michael. Thank you. Very pleased. He weighed as much as I used to. <laughs> one of those fad diets. Was it one of those fad diets you were on, or what? Uh, no, no, I've gained back uh, most of what I lost the last time, and now I'm pregnant. 
<laughs> You're not even married, you trash. I am too. You are you pregnant not. by your husband? It's my second anniversary today, and yes, and it's going to be white. What an imagine. <laughs> well, what it must not be your husband. My <laughs> husband is white, just like me. <laughs> what an imagination, You should want to get some sun. <laughs> oh, I or a daughter. <laughs> what? Did Janet feel real, real awful when she was only like about six weeks pregnant? Yeah, but that's because she's married to me. Oh. <laughs> she knew the father. Oh. <laughs> it had nothing to do with the... Yeah, actually she was. Oh, Is this I, your I first one? I left this apartment in three days and I just sweat and I stink bad and I haven't even washed... <laughs> Maybe you should think about a days. shower. Huh? You know, don't wait for somebody to throw you a shower. Take one on your own. <laughs> hey oh. Get up. Hey oh. Is this your first one? Yes. How come you're reproducing? Well, because I thought it would be kind of fun to have a baby, since everybody else in my family does. It's you very sound trendy. Having a baby has replaced Perrier water. I swear. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so I see. I'm, I'm only 23, so it's not like I waited till I was 35 and got over my big career and everything. Right. While well, your pelvis is still in good shape. My pelvis is in great shape. I got the widest tips in the world, so I don't anticipate any birthing problems. Really? Actually, Gary, you and I could both slip up <laughs> through her uh, pelvic. Oh, bone. come on That's now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to say she's big, no, but you and I could. But you can park a car up there. Oh, huh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let us know when you're coming up to the station. We'll get some two by fours so we don't <laughs> fall in. Yeah. Um, oh, being funny. Wait a minute. I was going to say something, and you kept talking, and now you made me. This is what I hate about you. Oh, yeah. You don't sense when I have something good to say. Shower. Oh, please. I'm not going to talk. Shower. Uh, yeah. Uh, six weeks. She's feeling bad. No, it was something after shower. About me smelling bad. No. Shower. Was this planned, Cheryl? Yes, I've been trying since December. Yeah? With your husband only or different males? Well, usually <laughs> just my husband. Yeah. <laughs> You've been okay. trying with us for a long time. What's that? Never mind. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Well, she... she <laughs> oh, uh, having babies is like Perrier water. Oh, yeah. Uh, every I see pregnant women everywhere. Yeah. This nursery where, uh, where where we had the baby uh -huh. is jammed. I, I mean, a free it's, can opener if you have a baby this year. <laughs> it's I guess it's like uh, it's very trendy to have babies. Yeah, I think suburban white ladies are even beating out the the inner city ones at this point. Cheryl, do you have your uh, the new do you baby have your crosses boom. in the back of the pickup truck? You're gonna go do yeah, some uh, crossword kind of thing. Yeah, in the back of the truck. Yeah, okay. Well, get your make sure you get your hood back from the from the <laughs> dry cleaners. Jeez. <laughs> No, I'm just teasing. Yeah. I don't want to say... Uh, Some of my best friends I don't want to say, Mexicans, honest. I, I don't want to say that Cheryl uh, is... Uh, uh, and her husband aren't exactly bright, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, they've been having trouble uh, conceiving, so they did what they thought was a sperm bank thing. They went down to their local savings and loan. He filled up one of those tubes those <laughs> that you put into the pneumatic thermos. system, yeah. and she got at the other end and put her uh, <laughs> and sat on the machine and waited for the tube to come up. <laughs> I think we got it, honey. It's a sperm bank thing. It's a keeper. Yeah. One of those Mosler uh, pneumatic right. systems. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah. So what's your husband like? What does he do for a living? Well... He's a deaf mute. <laughs> he works, otherwise he wouldn't be able to live with her. No, I'm not going to say where he works, but he's a Canadian. So that he's a Canadian citizen, so I think... A couple of hockey pucks in the head. He is you don't a know hockey the difference. puck in the head. He watches those stupid games. Oh! Now what does he do? Uh, you don't have to mention the company. Um, trying he to works get for a... He's a um, representative for a planned giving. He takes money from people. All right. Well, from planned giving? Yeah. What's that? Sounds like a religion. No, no. Most organizations like hospitals and that have planned giving representatives where people, rich folks, usually donate their money after after they're dead to give to a worthy organization. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to say the worthy organization. That's all. But so that's how does he make money? Does he, like, pocket some or what? No, in fact, I wish he'd get a percentage, but he doesn't. He just has a straight salary. He doesn't have to punch a time clock like the, me. The the foundation that he works for pays him to go out and get the money. Right. Hmm. Fun job. Yeah, Talking to 90-year-old yeah. women with a death rattle in their throat. Oh, oh they're all like Come on, sign it. Hurry, oh, sign it. <laughs> they call here at 6 o'clock in the morning, hallucinating. <laughs> They see the shiny floor at the hospital, and they think it's a river going down the hallway. They call Ted because they're scared. <laughs> Honey, we got to do it. We need the money. <laughs> we, should mention, we should mention that Cheryl is a girl, like, like many, many, who writes to Bob Green and got her letter published uh, several months ago. Did you ever get anything he back from him? He swiped your idea. 
I got no money at all. He put actually that column resulted in three columns. There what, two what was it? Columns, and I didn't get a penny. About how people never close their letters with a real it, proper closing. Something so, that right. is indicative of how they feel. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. He stole that from you. He sure did. That I don't know. That seems to happen to me a lot, and that really. Uh, hey, hey, hey! I'm not gonna say it. You're almost a mother. Right. Right. I gotta start acting like one. That's right. Okay, we gotta get going here. Okay. Bye. Right. Bye. Take a bath. Okay. Right. Three seventeen WLS FM ninety five.